What is medicine wheel? It is a calendar. We hey, went, remember? Grand yeah. Te- yeah, Grand Teton also. I don't know if you saw, remember the, ba- the bears and the, you know, baby bears. <laughs> Yes. But all that, yeah. <laughs> Thirty to sixty million buffalo was ranging on the land. Looks like a, I thought this is a miniature rhinoceros that came up from somewhere <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> okay now, do it now. <laughs> chuck, chuck, chuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you went to effigy mounds? All the different animals oh, I heard, I saw. The effigy mounds over. From there, we went to the medicine wheel on top of the mountain. One of the most spectacular rides that you can think of on the way to Yellowstone. Then we came back. What is medicine wheel? Uh, medicine wheel is on top of the mountain. It's more like a calendar, you know. A wheel with 28 spokes. Oh, well, okay. it's uh, unfortunately, it's all very distorted now. But, uh, you know, they put it on a place where there are no shadows, nothing where they could measure the moon's Mm. rise and moon's setting and also maybe sunrise, sunset. Also, probably for solstice, you know, solstice and equinox is very important in the Native American culture. Mm -hmm. So, uh, they put up this on top of a a flat piece of uh, mountain top, you know, like nothing else, right on the top. Some nearly 10,000 plus uh, feet above the sea level. So, we went up a lot of riding and then, <laughs> you know, this huge motorcycle, very hard to ride on the gravelly roads. <laughs> so, uh, we somehow went up and saw that and… but the How ride… How ride up on gravel roads with such a heavy motorcycle? That was just about three miles, I think, three, four miles. But rest of it was a spectacular ride, absolutely incredible ride. Any motorcyclist dream, that kind of road. Then, were you able to read the time or...? No, no, it's all distorted. It's not a uh, watch, it is a calendar. Anyway, the moonrise was so absolutely oh, okay. miraculous yesterday. We were just riding down and the moon was coming up out of the uh, mountains. Unbelievable, almost full moon. Today is full, but yesterday was almost full. Today we are at the, the Crow Tribe Reservation. Hmm. Uh, the, so we're meeting some people there, having a conversation with their one of their medicine men. And then seeing a very important battle, which is one of the most, uh, what to say, successful battles for the Native Americans, which was a little big horn battle where they killed General Custer, mm. who was aspiring to become the President yeah. of the United States. So we are visiting that and then having this conversation and then riding on towards Billing in Montana. What was that uh, that singular rock you sent photos of? I think you were there oh, for yeah. a few days because that over a couple of days Mato, you sent me photos from there. Mato Tipila. Mato Tipila. Uh, unfortunately, they call mm. it Devil's Tower. It is a very unique, uh, uh, you know, like uh, a volcanic formation. That something strange happened. It just came mm. up and froze right there. It didn't flow over. It's magma. But uh, the Native American mm. people believe it's an ancient tree that was chopped off. It's like a massive tree, uh, a, mam- a mammoth tree, because it very much looks like a tree trunk. When you look at it, it definitely very much looks like a tree stump, you know, when trees are chopped, how it looks. It definitely looks like that, but uh, you know, a tree of that size would have gone up, what, 3,000 feet up into the sky probably, but that's not it. It's a, a volcanic formation, but uh, incredibly powerful. I found some strange things about it, we spent some time in the night. I'll be talking about it in the next uh, couple of days maybe, hopefully. Right now there's no time to sit and talk and record, so we're gathering everything that we can and we'll go sit somewhere and record. So Grand Teton Lake uh, also, we're going through that. We went to Yellowstone so Yeah, we went to uh, Grand Teton also. I don't know if you saw, remember the the bears and the, you know, baby bears. (laughs) Yes. We're all there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and just right there, like mm-hmm. not even, we were on the side of the road and it was just yeah. like a few feet away. There's another animal which came near the house that day. I don't even know the animal's mm-hmm. name, it starts with A, you may know that. It seems it spreads less leprosy. 
but it looks like a tiny rhinoceros. It suddenly oh. came off. I was sta standing outside and I was taking a call. I was walking up and down and on a call. And I find these two animals just come out close to me. They're not even shy of coming wild animals. They'll, they're like, uh, you know, like raccoons, but with uh, somewhat scaly. Looks like, a, I thought this is a miniature okay. rhinoceros. It came out from somewhere in the dark. Oh, an armadillo. <laughs> uh, armadillo, that one. Armadillo, it's, yeah. It seems it spreads... Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I think you told me this. <laughs> it was quite funny. I've never seen that animal before. Oh, you saw the bison. Yeah, yeah. We we saw the b bison buffalo roundup, it's called. About 1500 bisons, but uh, I don't know, it made me very sad. Such glorious animals being treated like domesticated cows. I don't know, I didn't like mm. it. The governor of South Dakota, she's a lady. She also rode along with the riders and all that stuff. Can you believe this at one time? Somewhere between 30 to 60 million buffalo was ranging on the land. And uh, by the time they finished with it, probably early, late 19th century, I think, there were only 325 left. There's that very famous photograph, no, of all the skulls just piled one on top I of know, the other. I know, but can you imagine from somewhere 50, 60 million buffaloes to 325, just 325? If they had killed them, there would be no bison left on the planet.